The people of Fairmount, Indiana had no idea in 1931 their town was about to change forever. Well, he was born in Marion, but he was a couple months old. The family moved to Fairmount. James Byron Dean, born February 8, 1931, known by most as a Hollywood star and rebel, but in Grant County, he was known as Jimmy, a hometown boy. Jim, he was just an ordinary boy, no different than me or any others. We all have a orneriness in us, you know, and, and a lot of passion in us, too, for other people. But um, he was just a regular kid. This regular kid lived in Fairmount, Indiana, with his aunt and uncle on the Winslow farm. He went to school, played sports, and had friends like Bob Pulley. I spent a lot of time with Jim out the farm, and because I lived here in town, I liked the country, and, and we were good friends. Jimmy and Bob graduated from high school together in 1949. Jimmy was president of the debate club, broke school records on the track team, and starred in school plays. Of course, we had class play every year. All of us about had to be in it because they had enough for a play. And Jim was always good in the school plays. Jimmy headed to California after high school for college and to kick off his acting career. Phil Ziegler remembers the time when this star rose to fame. It was 24 years old. I never saw anybody act like that before. I was mesmerized. Really, he knocked my socks off. I've been a fan ever since. Phil may only know Jimmy through his James Dean days, but now calls Fairmount home. His classic car is parked right next to the one Jimmy drove to prom. He knows all of the secret spots and tells his stories as if he and Jimmy were friends. Well, Jimmy took a stick and wrote Jim Dean, 1944, and he put his handprint and his footprint, and it's still there. It's the legacy of James Dean that keeps bringing people to Fairmount from all over the world. This Fans from all over. I've had book after book by addresses where they would send me a picture. They wanted a picture taken with me. Then they would send, said, okay, if you send me a picture, I'll let you take it. Jimmy's tragic death in September of 1955 transformed a small Indiana town into a nationally recognized place. But it's the memories of this young star that keep Jimmy a wholesome hometown hero and James Dean a rebel to remember.